Democratic lawmakers gathered at the site of the old EC electroplating factory in Garfield to A, celebrate the successful start to remediation of this Superfund site, and B, to call for a more stable funding source for the federal program to cover so-called orphan sites like this one. When the Superfund program was created back in 1980, funding for the orphan sites cleanups came from a diverse array of sources, including and importantly, taxes collected on crude oil and certain chemicals. However, the tax program from the Superfund site expired 20 years ago in 1995. Meaning that the cost of cleaning up sites like this one, EC went out of business more than a decade ago, falls to taxpayers. So Booker and Menendez, along with House members Bill Pascrell and Frank Pallone, will introduce the Superfund Polluter Pays Restoration Act which would reinstate the excise tax on polluting industries and give the EPA ongoing funding not subject to annual appropriations. It just seems to me fundamentally wrong that the taxpayers have to pay for the companies that polluted and left a legacy of failure behind for everybody else to clean up and everybody else to pay instead of those who created the pollution in the first place. New Jersey has more than 100 active Superfund sites, more than any other state in the country, a toxic legacy of our industrial past. It's seeped into local groundwater and into rivers and streams. Cleaning it up has already cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and sites like this one in Garfield are going to take tens of millions more to get fully cleaned up. We will need at least $40 million to do this cleanup which we would like to start in about 2018 after all the design work is done. I don't have $40 million hanging around on my desk, and that's why the legislation that these members of Congress uh, spoke about today is so crucial. Funds to clean up this site are secure through 2017, but once that runs out, they'll have to go looking for more funds to actually finish the job. And lawmakers acknowledge that getting this bill through the sometimes toxic political environment of the Congress could prove to be as difficult as cleaning up the hexavalent chromium that has fouled this neighborhood for decades. In Garfield, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.